The first step is to open the convertible top roughly 12 inches so that you can access um, and manipulate the pieces that you need to. Um, go ahead and hold the button until it's right about um, this level right there, give or take 12 inches. Um, and then I flipped up the back carefully and placed a brick there so that I could get in and out both ways and then went ahead and removed my old cracked pieces. Step two is to find the correct bat wing and orient it. Remember that the grommets and the strings will ultimately face toward the rear of the car. Once you've found the correct bat wing, like such, go ahead and slide it up into the opening so that you can ultimately see the top of the plastic uh, right at the very top and the final top string is in its little uh, opening like the diagram shown here. I've labeled the pieces here so that it will hopefully be easier to follow. Additionally, this is what the final product should look like. The third step is to attach point E. Um, point E is the topmost string that's by itself. Uh, the string should go behind or on top of that rod shown right there in the middle. Up through the loop, there's no need to remove the top hardware and then we'll fasten on screw E by untightening it a little bit, looping it around, and then tightening it back again. The next step is to remove the old hardware loop A and replace it with loop A of the new bat wing. My old hardware was a T20 screw. Some people have stated that they have a Phillips head screw, um, but ultimately what you're trying to do is completely take off the old loop and put on the loop from your apparatus. This string will go directly from the middle of the bat wing in front of everything like such and then ultimately be connected to point A. The next step is to remove the old spring and install the new spring, which we're calling B on this diagram. This was by far the hardest step simply because it's difficult to get to and difficult to see. You can look here and see my finger in the back, but it is all the way back there. Um, and it's difficult to access. You're looking to remove the little metal screw from between that eyelet. Uh, so I tried going from the top and it didn't go that great, but ultimately going from the side was best. The stubby ratcheting screwdriver was amazing for both the uninstall and the reinstall. When you're reinstalling, the string should go directly from point A to point B. On the car, when the string goes from point B to point C, there's a canvas loop that the string needs to go through. In order to go through that loop, you have to find the canvas loop, undo it, put it around the string, and then reattach it. It's easiest to get to the loop from the back side of the vehicle. So go ahead and flip up carefully the back part of the convertible top, like such, and prop it up. Then you can see the loop right there. Uh, mine, again, was loosened with a T20. Some people have claimed that they have a Phillips head screwdriver. Go ahead and take the old canvas loop off, like such wrap it around the wire that you pull out. It should be from B to C. And then reinstall. Keep in mind that you want to install the string in an orientation so that there is no twisting when going from B to C. The most important part about installing portion C is to ensure that the string is routed correctly. It should go directly from the BC loop, and if you're viewing it from the front of the car, should pass in front of, or on top of, those two metal bars, and ultimately attach on point C. Again, my old hardware was a T20 screw. For point D, again, the string routing is the most important piece. It should go directly from C, behind the front pillar, attached to D, and then be routed to the bat wing itself. If you find that the bat wing is getting especially tight as you do this, raise the rear of the convertible top to give yourself more room. The last step is to attach the cloth from the top to the bat wing itself. Raise the rear of the convertible top to get as much slack as possible, peel off the bat wing adhesive, and stick it to the cloth. I also put super glue on the red areas and then clamped it down and that worked very well.